Yes, yes, of course. I want to eat such jelly. Make it for me, please. Yeah, good. Fine, I'll do this for you. How to make jelly? Oh, I have Fanta. I'll open the lid. Somehow it's hard to open. Oh, such a big bottle, I can't even open the lid. Oh, yeah. No, not really. Oh, I got it. Please hold it. Just like that. Oh, no! Ah, oh, stop it! Give it to me! Oh, thank you, of course, but... Hmm. Don't drown yourself, dear Emma. What a beautiful Fanta! But you need jelly. I'll add some honey. Mmm, yummy. We just definitely need to try it. Mmm, good. So sweet. I'll eat some more. Pour it into the bottle. All right, Jelly, just a little more. Oh, what a sweet tooth you are. Yes. Although no, we need to finish. Oh no. Come on, one drop. We'll pour out some more, please. Aw, oh, it's over. I have an idea. I've thought of it. Where are you going? That's what I need. Dear bees, I'm going to take a beehive with honey from you. Now. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh no. Why are you so mad at me? Why did you come here? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I just needed some honey. Ah! Uh, barely escaped. Now I have real honey. There is so much of it here. How delicious it is. This is exactly what I need. Some more. Just some more. And just close the lid. It is necessary to shake it well now. The <laughs> jelly is almost ready. And what? Are, what is next? Oh, right. You need to put it in the refrigerator. That's better. Now the only thing is to wait. The pod is in place. I have a beautiful spider. Magnificent cockroaches. A spring of wormwood and a magic feather. An incredible pill for deliciousness and, of course, a magic potion. It will be a mega magic jelly. And don't forget about squid tentacles. They are needed for yummy. Now I'm going to mix everything up. What a wonderful jelly. You'll lick a witch's finger. I'll take the hooba booba. It is very delicious. Mmm, what a wonderful, tasty long gum. This is what I need. I'll put it in the mixer. I'll fit it in the end. Now thoroughly mix it. Yeah, like this. I'll take the best honey there is. Yeah, that's what I need. I'll definitely mix it with honey. That's it, almost ready. And I will have a great bubblegum hoo boo boo jelly. Mmm, yeah, it's delicious. I'm going to pour everything into a bottle. She should appreciate the taste. Now let's cool it in the liquid ice. Although it's better to have more. My jelly is the most delicious. Stylish look, unforgettable aftertaste, and of course, a little glitter. Yeah, magical cooling sequences. I think it's ready. Whoa, what a cool huge bottle of jelly! Look! Look at that! Which one should I start with? I'd love to try this blue one! What a color! Wow! Yum, yum, yum! Yes, it's so delicious! But what is it? A bee? How strange. We should try another one. Ooh, this pink looks delicious. Hmm, how good it is! Whoa, you can also inflate a bubble! Very fun! And delicious! I'll try the third option. It's kind of unemphasizing, actually. But I'll try it anyway. Not bad. Oh, 
Oh no, Wh what's happening to me? No, I'd rather not drink it again. This one is the best, yes. Yeah, I'm brilliant. I want, I want a lollipop. Here's such a beautiful one. Huh, I know what I'm going to do. I'll take the dolls. More precisely, only one part. I'll detach the arms. Why does the doll need them, right? Now the bucket. I'll hit the stove. More sugar, water. And I'll make such delicious candies. My candy will always be black. It is absolutely necessary that there will be beautiful candy, right? Yeah, it's going to be a great lollipop. Now let's pour it into a glass. And I'll put the arm there. We pull out and finish lollipop. Burn sugar on the arms like the sleeves of the evening dress. What to come up with? Oh, the spoon. That will fit. I'll sprinkle it with sugar. I need more. I'll use a burner. It's gonna be much faster. Oh, it's just magic. Oh no, I think I fried it too much. The sugar is completely burned. Ah, so hot! My tongue! Try to cool it down. I agree. It would be necessary to cool down. Where is the refrigerator? I'll put my lollipop there. Oh great, I'll add sugar to this red syrup. It's lovely, what a delicious candy I'll get. Huh, I'm a genius. Perfect, the only thing left is to interfere a little. Yeah, now it's done. I've got this sugar sausage here. I'm going to roll it out now. Mmm, bellissimo. The only thing left is to add white. I'll make two and make an incredible lollipop. Just like this. Twisted and the shape as in the picture. Mmm, I'm a genius cook. Where is my lollipop? I wonder if it's prepared or not. Oh no. It won't come off! Ah! It hurts! I'll carry it to Kate. Here, I got it. Look what a lollipop I have. Wow, what a choice. What's this? Oh, it even smells unpleasant. Uh, of course I won't try it again, no. It's something very strange. It smells good. Mmm, tastes even better. What? Why did you take the hand from my doll? Aw, it's terrible. What a disgusting idea. And this lollipop should definitely be tried. What a lovely lollipop. Yum, yum, yum. This one is the best. Yeah. Well, I didn't doubt my work. The final touch. Watermelon. I want a watermelon. Ooh, so cool and so fat. Hmm, maybe with my fist? Maybe like that? No, I need to put all my power there. I can't do it. I'm gonna use a saw. I'll deal with it quickly now. Oh, why? Don't throw your garbage at me. Wednesday, be careful. What a mess. Ew. I'm covered in watermelon rind. I'll make a beautiful watermelon, and I'll make the shape of brains. What a strange dish. I'll do it much more carefully. So cut out a piece. Yeah, I won't need that. I'll take a blender and turn all the continents into liquid without touching the peel. Now we need to pour all the excess. It'll be incredibly delicious. I'll need some gelatin and water. Mix it. Of course, have a dye. I'll make a sweet watermelon. Hmm, I'm gonna have some more of these. And they're gonna be colorful. Ew, that's disgusting. I don't agree with you. Let's continue. First, I'll pour the red jelly. An orange, yellow, and I'll mix all the colors of the rainbow. Make layers and close the watermelon lid. Just like that. 
My watermelon is gorgeous. What sound is this? I'm gonna break you! I think I beat off my hand. I'm sorry, it hurts so much. Even I pity you. Let's help her. Hands are saved. I'm like a kitten. Well, maybe. Don't hit the watermelon so hard anymore. Look. That's it. And that's it? That simple? Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. So I'll take a spoon. I'll try to hold it. And here is... My recipe? I think it's ready. Here you are. Which one to start with? Okay, I'll start with that one. Just take it with a spoon. And let's try. Well, it's just a watermelon. Whoa, what are these? Are these brains? I don't really want to eat them. Okay. Although it's very, very good. And what is this? Why is it closed? Do I have to knife it myself? Okay, let's take a knife, cut a watermelon, and see what's inside. Whoa! Look at that! So cool! Wow! It's the first time I'm seeing this! And so delicious! <laughs> of course you won! This one is the winner! What did you say? Yours is not bad. Okay, you? That's better. Hey, that's not fair! I wonder what's in there. That's it, that's it! I want a sandwich! That's so big and delicious! Mm, I'll accept the order. Yeah, let's do it, it's easy. I'm already starting. I'll cut the bread in the shape of a hexagon. Now the cheese. I'll cut it too. I'm going to have a very delicious sandwich. Of course, red pepper. It is really necessary. A little Tabasco sauce for spice. How burning. That's what you need. I'll pour more Tabasco sauce. I'll put bread on top and decorate it with ham. Be sure to fry them properly. Until black. Uh, isn't it dangerous? I'll take a toaster. I think it's not so dangerous with it. Here's bread. A little sprinkling. Nice! Although, no. More sprinkles. Marmalades, marshmallows. And some more candies. Yeah, it's going to be so tasty. Now I'll just close the lid. Oh, why isn't it working? Oh, close! Come on! Oh, just like this. Ow! I need to cool down. So hot. Wow, they are of course very hot, but very tasty. My sandwiches are just right. What are you girls doing? See how a professional works. Some cheese and ham and cheese and ham, that's the tower. And chips, of course. We're gonna need to rub them. And I'll crumble chips for taste, dip a sandwich. No, I'm not proud of you. I'll take an egg. Stick it with butter. Now I'm going to dip a sandwich in an egg. And of course, I'm going to put some chips on it. A little oil, deep fry the dish. And it's going to be incredible, super tasty. I'll take out my sandwich. My delicious sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. Five star food is ready. So, Kate? Which one is better? Hmm. I think I'm going to cut this one. Whoa. So beautiful. And so tasty. Just wonderful. Ah. Uh, so little, though. Let's try this one. Ooh, it's sweets and marmalades. So unusual. I like it. Uh, what is this? How disgusting. I don't even want to try. 
It's so spicy! Ah, uh, save me! Help me! Give me some water! I need to have a sweet snack. Yes, this one is definitely the coolest. Mine won! Yay! Is this thing always on her shoulder? Hmm, what will they cook? But for sure, can I have a cake like this? Nonsense, I can handle this. I need flour and milk. Now we break two eggs. Butter. Of course, sugar. And mix it all. It makes a great dough, doesn't it, Wednesday? Thing. Act. First, give me flour. And now milk. And an egg. And don't forget about sugar. Now mix everything up. And I'll add something for myself. Yeah, so definitely much better. Well done, thing. Uh, the hen has prepared everything for her? Okay, Ben. Get ready, we need to cook. I'll take the muffins. Make the first layer of them, and I'll cover them with whipped cream. Another layer of small muffins, and more whipped cream. And what a beauty, look at that. Mmm, so tasty. And what is that hand rolling up there? Where is the thing? Has anyone seen it? Ah. Uh, anyway, I'll do the cake. It's kind of unusual without him. Where's my knife? Hmm, let's get rid of this excess. At least this thing prepared me. A little here, and a little there. Straight, real brains. Huh. Do you like it? Uh, yeah. Of course. Creepy. Okay, the cake won't cook itself. It's time to do a second level. I'll cover the cakes with cream, and now I'll level them with a spatula. It seems the cake lacks decorations. Now we'll fix it. I'll cover the molds with milk chocolate. Yeah. Just like that. And liquid nitrogen will do to freeze faster. Nut chocolate paste, and of course, nuts. Well, look at that, just the real M&Ms. <laughs> the big ones are here, and I'll sprinkle the small ones on top. Here you go. Oh yeah, my cake is ready, I suppress myself. Isn't that right, Wednesday? Uh, it's so sweet, but I'll probably add blood to myself, and more, well, where's without eyes, right? That's better. Paige loves rainbows. I'll add them. Great cake. Whoa, Wednesday. Uh, hey, your cane seems to be alive. Of course it's alive. It's brains. Let's try it already. It's a huge M&M's cake. Uh, what are these brains? I'd rather start with Ben's cake. Hmm, it's just whipped cream and cupcakes. It's delicious, of course, but not original. Okay, now the cake from the chef. Wow, what a huge candy. It's insanely delicious. Mmm. And the cake is even tastier, I guess. Yes, I was right. That's wonderful. Whoa, Betty. I think it's time to try the cake from Wednesday. Uh, I know it's not real blood, but... Mm, strawberry syrup? Huh. And these are marmalade eyes. With stuffing. Very tasty. Let's try the cake itself now. Mmm, it's really good too. Wednesday, this is a victory. I can't tear myself away. Oh, congratulations, Wednesday. I just love this cake. Wait a minute. Is it moving? Is it a human hand? Oh no! It's on my... Ah, it's on my head! Somebody take it off! Ah! Huh. And there you are, thing. 
Well, what is it? This time, I want pasta. Uh, noodles or something? Yeah, the chow will cope with this. There are instant noodles. I'll open the lid a little. Pour out the seasonings. And put the kettle on. That's it. What's there, Ed? Uh, wh wh what a horror. Uh, she poured nesting maggots on the blade. Wednesday, I don't think Paige will like this. Ew. Uh, you're such sissies. Oh, okay, I'll make her pasta. Just add some mixture of jelly. Or water. And add red dye to the mixture. Mix it up. Now my pruner will help me. I will cut off the excess from the tubes. In the glass and pour the dough into it. While I'm splitting Oreo cookies, no one seems to see. I can't do anything. Oh, the cream is really delicious. Now I'll make cookies into some crumbs. Just like that. And I'll spread it on the plate. And add some marmalade larve tone top. Hmm. So much for spaghetti. Looks like worms. Wonderful. Yes, Wednesday, this is your repertoire, but I'll make homemade pasta, okay? And now we need to boil it. Just like this. Why such difficulties if you can pour boiling water over the finished ones? Now close the lid. I said close the lid. Hey, why doesn't it close? Oh, that's right. I came up with it. Now I'll make it securely with an iron. Yeah, learn, Betty. Huh. It could be something to learn. Okay, my pasta is cooked. Now I'll deep fry it. Oh, just a side of it. Oh. So good. Well, grind some cheese on top. Cheese never hurt anyone. Add some tomatoes for decoration. Oh, what a sight. So much strings and my noodles are no worse. Just going to open it. Uh, damn, it's closed securely. What do I do? Oh, that's right. Just attach the tube with gum. Huh, it's even more convenient. Ta-da, my noodles are ready. Well, you have prepared perhaps I'll start with the safest option? Well, isn't it too hard? Some dry pasta. Yeah. Ew. And what are these maggots in the ground? It doesn't seem to be alive. Ugh. Okay, I can try it. Hang on. Paige, wait a minute. Oh, it's just jelly and Oreo. It's very tasty. Okay, what's Ben got there? I don't think I need a fork. Apparently, you need to pierce the lid. Mm-hmm, with a tube. And chewing gum? Ugh. Let's try. Mmm, the broth is delicious and the noodles, too. So good. Ben, you won. I really like it. Really? Did I win? Oh yeah, that's how it's done. Haha. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, what now? That's it. Yeah, look. I want chocolate chip cookies. This time, just like in the picture. Huh, nonsense. There's nothing to cook here. Just get it out of the box. I think I'll help myself to that one. And what about the others? Mmm, so good. What are they doing? Okay, this time I won't lose. We'll take flour and milk, two eggs, and mix it all up. Okay, so now I need to roll out the dough. It's a trifling matter for me. No wonder I took my favorite rolling pin. 
I'll cut out future cookies with a cookie cutter. Let there be several forms. The mold never fails. Well, what a beauty. Well, oh, Wednesday, what have you got there? Uh, just a gelatine for the test. Let's try to divide it into pieces. And now we give them sausages the shape of fingers and add an almond. Put them on the baking sheet. And let's make glaze out of sugar, water, and dye. Mix it all up. And put it on our fingers. It's time to fry. Connecting the conductors. Let there be light. Oh, yes. Here they are, ready. Now, you like my cooking, Betty? Uh, yeah, unusual. My cookies are also baked here. Now we need to cover them with chocolate. But I have as many chocolate colors as I have shapes. It remains to put them on top of each other. And it will be a burger cookie. Look at that. <laughs> Just what a sight. Uh, what a horror. Yeah, you're so slow. I have everything ready for a long time. Uh, where did all the cookies go? What to do? Uh, an idea. I'll toast the toast. Right? That's a good one. And out some Nutella. Mmm, smells delicious. Oh no, the toast is burned. Oh, but okay. I'll just cover it with paste. Make it like, you know, Oreo for you. The shape is not the same, but I'll leave the access. That's a circle now, right? Disgusting, even for me. Okay, try it, Paige. Wow, you really tried this time. Except Ben, what is this all about? Did someone eat before me? Ugh. Ew, it's all flowing. No thanks, I won't eat that. What's next? Hmm, perhaps these witch fingers. It looks good. And they taste very good too. Hmm. So great. Hmm, burger? Is it a real one? It looks like a real one. Mmm, the bun is delicious. I'll try it all at once. Oh, it's hard. Mmm, so crunchy and chocolatey. I love it. Betty, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> really? Well, finally. Even though you flatter me, but thank you. So, I suggest starting with something really tasty. Like this cocktail. Now I'm going to make such a cocktail for cake that she just won't be able to sit on her chair. Where is my cauldron and book with old recipes? Hmm, it's good that I carry all this with me every day. Well, you need to start making a cocktail with worms and some cockroaches. And of course, where do we go without green slime? Yeah. And some more. Oh, so gross. Just wonderful. But that's not all. Be sure to add a whole fish. And so the boats don't interfere with drinking it, we'll just throw the skeleton away. The resulting cocktail should be thoroughly stirred. Ugh, how disgusting! So what should I come up with? That's right, why not just combine Kate's favorite sodas? Sprite, Fanta and Cola are exactly what we need. And after my portable refrigerator, all these drinks are so cold. <laughs> so even more delicious now. Oh, I can deny it myself. Oops, sorry. <laughs> this is another indicator of how delicious this cocktail is. The only thing left is to add a straw. Yeah, you don't know how to make a cocktail at all. Any normal cocktail is milky. The milk should be mixed with ice cream, after which the resulting mixture should be painted in the brightest colors. Yeah, we're gonna have a real rainbow. 
just a few minutes and the cocktail is almost ready. Some whipped cream and real rainbow. I'm sure she'll look really cool at this cocktail. Kate, the only thing left for you is to choose which cocktail is the most delicious. It's gonna be mine. Yeah, you've made a whole bunch of different cocktails. Mm, perhaps I'll start with what looks most ordinary. I think I'll like Betty's cocktail. Mmm, very tasty. It's like I'm drinking all my favorite sodas at once. And the burp is appropriate. Uh, let's see what Wednesday has prepared for me. Uh, what's happening? Am I the only one who sees and feels it? Ah! Uh, what a strange effect. <laughs> and this cocktail just tastes disgusting. Ah, uh, the only thing left is to try what Chef prepared for me. His rainbow cocktail looks very cool. Mmm, and this is amazing. Even the idea of rainbow snack is just brilliant. Thank you. The winner is the chef. Oh, thank you, Kate. Hooray, I knew I was going to win. Now I want each of you to cook a burger for me. There is nothing easier. You need to start with frying cutlets. The main thing here is not to overdo it. Yeah. Oh, Wednesday. Why do you need a burger? I just have my own way of how to fry a cutlet. Why bother so much? There's a toaster. I'm just gonna put it in half. Ah, oh, it's easy. The only thing left is to just wait. Oh, the chef is already cooking the vegetables? Sure, because I want the burger to be juicy and every piece of vegetables to be soaked with freshness. Mm, it's time to bake my luxury burger. To do this, I pour the sauces on the bun, after which I put the cutlet, then the vegetables come into play. And on top, I cover it with another bun. But that's not all. It'll be cool if you add a little cheese sauce. The burger will immediately become many times tastier. Bravo! And what's the big deal about that? The most ordinary burger. That's what I will do. Really deserve the highest praise. The recipe is almost the same, only my burger will look like a huge black spider. Oh, where else have you seen such an amazing solution? Oh, wow! Why does it smell burnt? Oh, this is my cutlet! Oh no, toaster will give me the color right now! Oh! Well, how am I supposed to cook a burger now? Aww. Okay, I think the vegetables and cheese will brighten up the situation a little. Chopping the tomato is too boring, but it needs to be flat. <laughs> Just what I needed. Now I'll add some cheese. And another bun. Look! Uh, it doesn't look like a burger. It's normally circle. Well, I'll just change it. With my teeth. Perfect. Bon appétit. I don't even know where to start. Oh, no. Uh, Betty, what is this? Ew. Okay, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm gonna leave the spider for the last bit. First, I'm going to try your burger, chef. Mmm, not bad. But it's kind of boring. I expected more from you. Ooh, let's look at this one. It's moving! Oh no! Well, stop! You're not gonna run away from me! Hey, I'm gonna eat you! Mmm! Wednesday, I'm surprised! But you got a really delicious burger! It's also very handsome! You're winning this time! Yeah. Well, this time, I want you to prepare a pie for me! I hope you'll get it. Let's try. Thing. I'm going to need your help. Mash the dough. Fine. After that, we'll roll it. OK. 
okay? Together with a rolling pin, right? Now it's time to cut the dough into the necessary shapes. Think, lay down. It looks very cool already. It's time to pump up these hands with delicious strawberry syrup. Which really looks like blood. Ah, uh, what a horror. I wouldn't even eat for sure. Why not? There's just edible hands. In my opinion, they even look very tasty. Well, it's time to take my pie to the oven. Then we'll see what Kate has to say. Perhaps I'll make a pie according to a more classic recipe. The beginning is almost the same as the recipe of milkshake. You need to paint the ice cream and stir it all well. The resulting mixture needs to be melted a little so it becomes less thick. I need everything to be super bright. Let's just put it over there. Because next I'm going to spread it on the base of the pie. Each color layer is applied gradually, one by one. Finally, you need to add a little more whipped cream and of course, colored sprinkles to make the pie even brighter. The pie of colored ice cream is ready. My pie is handmade, huh? Very funny, almost ready. The only thing left is to put nails. Well, well, this book describes the pie recipe in great detail, so even I still have a chance to win. First, you need to prepare the dough. To do this, you need flour, eggs, sugar, and now you need to mix everything. But I don't know how to do this. Well, I know how to do it with my hands. Why not connect as well? Ready? Let's see what we'll add next. The book says it's time for jam. Ah, oh, so good, strawberry. Just what we need. Hey! Think, stop. Go away. You're interfering with my process. Oh, now I need the oven. Ooh, I can't wait to see how delicious it turns out. It's my chance to win. Maybe I should become a chef. I think I have a talent. Why does it smell like burnt? Hmm, probably it's from the window. Ah! It's good that I came. Otherwise, I would have missed such fun. Here is my pie. I tried. Mm, Betty, I believe you tried, but I won't eat this cold pie. But I'll eat this beautiful pie from the chef. With pleasure. Whoa, it looks even better in the cut. Mmm, smells wonderful. Wow, how cold it is. I love ice cream. Ugh, so I like the pie too. Wednesday came up with something strange again. Hopefully at least edible. Mmm, how cool. It looks like a McDonald's pie. Wednesday, you're winning this round. Because I'm the coolest. And it's true. I wish I could eat something delicious right now. Some pasta would be the perfect snack for me. That's my signature dish. That'll be easy. Pasta? I have no idea how to make that. First, you need to cook the spaghetti. Okay, I'll just repeat after everyone else. And something will work out. Probably won't need this rope. I'll just put everything in the boiling water. Dang it, doesn't fit in the pot. Gonna have to squish it in. Just watch Granny Teddy. She knows how to cook. We put the spaghetti in the water and wait for it to warm up. And voila! Everything fits in the pan. And it turned out just perfect. Are you serious? That doesn't look like pasta at all. 
professionals cook differently. You've got a lot to learn from me. Kate, you can't surprise us with your tricks. We'll see about that later. First, you need to make the pasta yourself from scratch. For that, I'll need some eggs and flour. Now we mix everything together. I love this, it's so relaxing. Okay, the dough is ready. Time to roll it out. I have to put a little effort into it, but I don't mind. Nothing I can't handle. My pasta's ready, time to boil it. Most of the work's already been done. Now I'm gonna take care of the seafood. Jess is gonna love this pasta. Bellissimo! The most delicious thing about pasta is the cheese. What are you doing, Ted? I'm trying to get my macaroni out. It's stuck. Dang it, that didn't work. Time to give up and try something else. I came up with an idea. I can use some gum. I'm gonna make some sweet pasta and decorate it with chocolate sauce. Super. I wouldn't mind eating this myself. Well, well, let's see what we've got here. Oh, shrimp. I'd like to try that, it looks delicious. And it smells good. It's pretty good, but nothing special. Ooh, there's a lot of cheese here, I like that. And the pasta's all stuck together. Although, that's a pretty good thing. Now I can take a big bite at once. Whoa, this is chewing gum, cool. This tastes so good. I think the winner's pretty obvious. It's this sweet pasta dish. I did it! I'm starting to get good at this. Be patient, Ted. The next dish is already on the picture. A hot dog? That's easy. Hey, what are you doing? Do you really need to fry the sausages? Thought you could just eat them. Ted, you're so silly. You can't eat raw sausages. Looks like I gotta play by some new rules. I'll take this oil if you don't mind. Hey, what's this thing here? Don't need that. I'll just pour it in the pan and I'm done. And I'll put it on high. This isn't gonna end well. All right, it's all warmed up. Time to fry. Don't do that, Teddy. Hey, what's this? Oh, why didn't you tell me earlier? Take that. That's it, I gotta get rid of this frying pan. It's trying to kill me. Okay, everything's fine now. Next time, ask before doing something like that. What's that smell? Ooh, perfectly roasted. Time to send this sausage straight to a bun. And we'll add a little bit of mustard and we'll be done. Ooh, it's very spicy. Just the thing. It looks perfect. Ted, what's going on? Well, I tried roasting this sausage with a gas burner. I did really good, didn't I? What amateurs. Who let you guys into a kitchen? I don't even know. Watch and learn. First, I'm gonna make the dough. This is simple enough. Eggs, milk, and flour. Now I'll mix it all together. Super, just what I needed. Now I'll take the sausage with some cheese. And I'll put them on the skewers. Perfect. I already like this. And in a small saucepan, I'll pour some oil for frying. Now I'm gonna fry my hot dog. Just a little bit left. Time to dip the sausage in and roll it around in some chips. That'll make it extra crispy. Now I'll dip it in the oil and wait for it to fry. Ready? Watch and be jealous. Finally, I add some sauces. Ketchup and mustard. Kate, that looks wonderful. Hey, I'm not done yet. I need some more sauces. Now this is turning out great. Sorry, but I don't think so. I'll be the one to decide that. So, what's this? Looks like a mess. Ugh, gross. But this is pretty good. I really like the taste of this. It's pretty normal, but 
The dough's good. There's just not enough fillings. Let's check out this third option. Whoa, check out that crust. I like it. This smells so good. Just from the first impressions alone, it's divine. This is the best thing I've ever tried. Congratulations. I wonder what dish Ben made for the first challenge. Wow, a watermelon. But how can it be interesting to cook it? Well, Emma, what ideas do you have? Surely you can't come up with something different. Hey, be careful! Yeah, it seems now Emma has a lot less options for cooking a watermelon. But you can still come up with something, right? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Cold chills, but how will they help you? No, it's definitely not gonna work. Hmm, and that too. No, it's not gonna work. A bucket? I'm afraid to ask, but what do you need it for? Ah, uh, this watermelon has already collected so much dust. It's definitely not a good option for food. Emma, you're going to throw this away, right? Oh no. She wants to serve such a dish to Ben. What a horror. Yeah, Grandma is disappointed. It's time to show Emma what a beautiful watermelon serving is. Let's go. Great. Let's see what's inside. Wow, the watermelon was cleaned just perfectly. Now we take a special knife to cut it beautifully. Wow. It remains to put these perfect pieces on a plate. That's it. Hmm, it seems there's one extra piece left. Why not eat it? Well, it's the turn of our chef, Betty. Look carefully because a real master is working. Wow, what an unusual shape. This is a real work of art. Now Betty cuts a little more from the edge. Now like this. Mm, something's missing. Wait, Betty's doing miracles. And look at this. It's incredible. It's just perfection. Bravo, Betty. All three dishes are ready, which means that's time to make a choice. Wow, how cool everything looks. Let's start with this dish. Mmm, what a juicy piece! Watermelon without peel is super. Definitely like it. So what is this? Um, is this a joke? There's some dirt on a watermelon. Uh, disgusting. Whoa, but this is already interesting. Let's try it. I wonder if Ben will like Betty's dish. It seems one piece was not enough for him. This is already a good sign. It seems the choice is between grandma's dish and Betty's. Of course, our chef is winning. Congratulations to Betty. A worthy and most importantly deserved victory. What can I say? A master. A new challenge. And this is… An egg with a surprise? Wow. How can it be cooked? I have no clue, bud. I'll try. Hmm, what can be easier? I need this, and that, um, and this. And how do I cook it? Um, we can try it that way and this way. Oh no! Oh, it looks like grandma's egg came out of the shell. And what should she do now? Hmm, of course. We pour out the remains of the egg, leave the shell, it'll be useful to us. Now a little gelatin and some water. We throw a piece of kiwi there and mix it. Then we need to do the same thing but with a different color. Wow, there's so many different beautiful colors! Now we take the resulting liquid and the syringe like this. Great. And now the shell will come in handy. We pour liquids of different colors into it. Super. But Betty doesn't seem to be impressed. I'm gonna show you what a real egg is with a surprise. To begin with, melt the white chocolate. It turned out to be a perfect chocolate cream. We pour it into three different containers. Now we'll add a little color. Perfect. One, two, three. Now we need a special egg form. We pour our miracle cream there. Shake it a little. Now it remains to cool it off. Let's open it. Oh yeah. 
That's what we need. Just perfect. I'll add some whipped cream and filling inside our shell. Closing it. And voila! The world's best surprise eggs are ready. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah. It's time to peel the shell and look at my result. Yes, I think Ben will like my dessert more. Just look at this beauty. Emma, what, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Emma, you really need to figure out what to do. There's not much time left. And it seems she has an idea. Maybe it's that surprise that will be in the egg or in a balloon. Does anyone understand what she's up to? What? Nutella? Why is Emma covering this ball with Nutella? So many questions. Only one thing is clear for sure. With Nutella, even a balloon looks delicious. Still, it's interesting to know what it all means. Now the final touch. Swiss sprinkles. But it's still not edible. Well, time is up. Time for Ben to make a choice. One, two, three, and… I'll start with this. Whoa. So many colors! Is that jelly? I don't like jelly, but in general it's not bad. What do we have here? Wow! So much whipped cream! I love it! And chocolate? It just melts in your mouth! Just super! <gasps> what a huge dessert! Wow! Emma, was it really all a prank? Well, at least the surprise turned out to be real. Although, something tells me that it will not be enough to win. Who's going to win, Ben? Of course, of course it's Betty's dish. Another confident victory. Bravo! Well, well, I want waffles. Just like in the picture. It'll be done. I'm ready. Whisk, shower, and battle. Mmm, delicious. Oh, sorry. Uh, but it's time to get down to business. I pour flour into a bowl. Break two eggs. And of course sugar. A little milk and butter. And now we need to mix it all. Just like that. Watch and learn, Ben. It would be something to learn from, right? Now I will pour the dough into bowls. Just like that. A little red dye and stir. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> Do you want to compete in speed? Well, hold on. All my colored dough is ready. Now I'll just pour it on the waffle iron, alternating colors. It's time to bake my waffle! I love Nutella so much! What? Yes, his waffles is already ready! Oh, I need to come up with something… Exactly, Nutella! I'll add flour right into it. And milk in the same place. And I'll mix everything. Pour the dough into the waffle iron and you can bake. I'm sure the chocolate waffle will be in her taste. How do you like that? I should decorate my waffles. Dip them in chocolate. And then in rainbow sprinkles. Beauty! Wonderful! Ah, is this waffle? Here I have a real waffle with maple syrup and powdered sugar. And strawberries for decoration. My waffle is ready. Oh, they decorate them. I need to decorate them too, with Skittles. I'll decorate the waffles with sweets and turn out great. So cool. I wish I had some left. Come on, Betty. Wow, I don't even know where to start. With rainbow waffles, I think. Mmm, what a smell. And so delicious. That's cool, Ben. Now a waffle from Kate. Mmm, sweets. And chocolate. An unusual combination. I like it. 
And of course, grandma's waffles. I'm drooling. How delicious! Mmm, I can't choose. They're all very tasty. I want to eat them. And granny's waffles and rainbow and chocolate. Oh, just delicious. I want to eat them all. Mmm, so good, yummy. Oh. Betty, are you okay? And who won that? Aw, oh, interesting. What are we cooking this time? Almost done. Here, I want a chicken leg. Easy. Wait, where do I get it? Ah! Take it away, take it away! Whatever you say, darling, but I'm going to cook it. Now, I'm going to rub it with some oil. Add some seasoning. Just on top of it, like that. I'll cut some apples. Just like this. Mmm, what a smell. I'll put it inside. And put other pieces just around my chicken. Just like that. Let's put it in the oven. What? Granny already did everything? Ugh. I think I have an idea. I'll take the spicy chips and add hot sauce to them. Now you need to stretch everything. Yes, that's what you need. And my chicken breading is ready. Chicken leg, it's your turn. Shake up. Wonderful. So beautiful, it's almost ready. Just going to the baking tray. Uh, who cooks like that? Look how it should be done. Sprinkle with different seasonings and rub them into the leg. Just like this. And now I'm going to fry these legs in my grill pan. The main thing is to make sure that they don't burn. Golden, just like this. Whoa, Grandma, didn't waste any time here. The chicken is ready. A couple of slices of oranges and a decoration on the legs. I understand this one. Kate, mind your own dish. Well, that's fine. My legs will be cooler. I'll just lick my fingers here. Oh, something's going on. So spicy! Whoa, not a joke. <coughs> Uh, my legs are ready. The only thing left is to put them in a branded basket. Perfect roasting. And I will serve them at the fountain. Just add cheese and voila. Oh yeah, cheese fountain. Betty, I hope you appreciate it. Bon appetit. Wow, everything is so different. Is that a cheese fountain? Oh, let's start with it. I'll dip it in the sauce. It looks so cool. Wow, and it tastes incredible. Chicken or legs? Chicken or legs? Hmm, I'll start with legs. Looks tasty as well. But they're ah uh, so sharp! Oh no, so spicy! Ah, uh, I need some other chicken. <sighs> it worked out. But Grandma's chicken is just so good. I'll try the leg. Mmm, smells good. Whoa, Grandma, it's incredible! You definitely won. I don't care about manners. The chicken is so delicious. Yes, you can't be granny losers. What do you think is going to be this time? I want french fries. Can you do it? It's a piece of cake for me. Grandma will figure it out. Ouch, my old bones. Even I can handle it. I'll cut the potatoes. Hey, is this knife stuck? Ah, uh, get down. Oh! Ow! 
Ouch! It was me. It's Grandma. What? Don't distract Grandma. What could be better than just some pieces of potato? I'll put them in a pot. Pour oil on them. And sprinkle them with my seasonings. And a sprig of rosemary won't hurt. I'll carry it. Or no, I'll carry it. Calm down, both of you will help me. Uh, now I'll show you what my professional cooking alliances are capable of. A couple of spins and the potato turned into a spiral. Have you ever seen that? Now we'll just fry it in the boiling oil. And I'm done with the slicing. Now we'll stuff everything into the toaster. Lunch and bang! Ooh, the main thing is to catch everything. Oops, I missed a little. I'll collect it now. That's it. Just like at McDonald's. Oh, this one seems to be mine. My potato is baked. And what a flavor it has now. The only thing left is to pour cheese sauce. That's it. Ugh, so lame. That's how you need to serve potatoes to the table. And the barbecue sauce fits much better. Ugh, oh, stop it. The best sauce is ketchup. Come on, Betty, prove it to them. Hooray, hooray, so many potatoes! I'll start with this one. It's just like in the picture. I'll pour ketchup on it. It smells like McDonald's. <laughs> so cool! And the taste, too! So good! Now grandma's potatoes. How much sauce? Not bad, but not exactly what I wanted. Ooh, what is this? It looks unusual. Mmm. <laughs> what does it taste like, I wonder? Let's dip it in the sauce. And taste it. Wow, it's incredibly delicious! Ben, you're a cooking genius! Oh yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> I mean, thank you. 